Malaysia, a motorcyclist paradise with winding roads, a huge sense of freedom, and new sights everywhere you look. A country with one foot in the future and the other rooted firmly in history and tradition. It's a jewel in Southeast Asia. This week, I explore the old English hilltop retreat of Fraser's Hill, go head over heels in Azor Ball, and take to the skies over Kuala Lumpur. I'm Jamie Dempsey, and I spent a lot of my life working behind the bar in one of the world's hippest cities, Los Angeles. But when the night's over and the sun comes up, I seek adventure of a completely different kind. Jungle pools like that are easy to spot when biking through Malaysia, but I wanted to see the country from a fresh perspective. I figured the best way to get a real sense of how big the jungle is was from the air, and now my mission was to get airborne. Time to earn my wings. get a bird's eye view of KL and the countryside. I really want to get up there and see what it's like to fly a plane. And there's a guy here named Captain Andreas who's promised to give me a flying lesson. And there's the man himself, Captain Andreas. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. But I've been Great. on the road for so long, I feel like getting another view of the country. A bird's eye view? A bird's eye view is exactly what I'm looking for, but it's been a while since I've been in one of these planes. It's pretty small. Uh, I'm a little bit scared. Uh, well, it's not really a wide body aircraft, but it's big. And it's big enough for you to take your first lesson. So I can actually fly it myself? Well, I'm going to give you a crash course. <laughs> and then you will be able to fly. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do that. OK, let's well, try it Well, I better out. get my bike out of the way, right? I don't think we can take off. You can't take it with you. <laughs> As with all good pilots, Captain Andreas started with the most important thing of all, pre-flight checks. Let's do a pre-flight check together. Okay. And we have a look at things we need to have in order to have a safe flight. We have a look at this one here, it's our P-Dot, and that is measuring the airspeed. Let's see if that is free from any little insects. They love to go in and build nests over there, especially here in the tropics. Looks clear, check. Check. Okay, stall horning one. We're gonna suck on this one, if it makes a sound, that's the sound you hear before we crash the plane. Oh, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay, let's listen to it, what you don't want to hear. Okay, I'm so, going to look out for that. We're going to look out for that. We don't want to hear it. As Andreas took me through the pre-flight checks, he also showed me how the different parts of the plane affect the plane in flight. It's easy to remember when he shows you. It's like dancing. <laughs> Well, I hope I fly better than I dance, because if I don't, we are in for a rough ride. With the external checks done, it was time to learn the instruments. Uh, artificial horizon, altitude, vertical speed indicator. <laughs> I think we have done enough ground school. I think we learn by flying. Are you ready to fly? <laughs> I'm ready. I didn't ah. get all that, but ain't nothing to it but to do it. Looks like I'm going flying. <laughs> With Captain Andreas at the controls, we started up and chocks away, we were off. I was surprised to see how quickly we gained speed, and pretty soon we had liftoff. The captain promised me a bird's eye view of the country, and he certainly delivered. Until you get airborne, you really have no idea of what the country really looks like. My only concern was the poor visibility we would have to keep a sharp lookout for other planes. True to his word, Captain Andreas handed over the controls to me and we set course for Kuala Lumpur. I couldn't believe I was actually flying. I was feeling pretty confident and flying very well, I thought, until the captain just checked out, leaving me on my own.
Without warning, I saw aircraft at 3 o'clock coming out of the sun. We were too close for missiles, so I switched to guns. Achtung, Spitfire, schnell, schnell! After a pretty intense dogfight, we were on the outskirts of KL, flying towards the city center. Then I saw them, the Petronas Twin Towers. Amazing, so close and at the same height. What an incredible way to see the capital city. I felt very privileged. It's just amazing to see a country from this perspective. But unfortunately, it was time for me to head back to my bike and continue the journey in a more conventional way. in the countryside yet. Such a thrill. But speaking of thrills, since the captain and I are both heading back to KL, I offered to give him a race. <laughs> it was about 90 kilometers to KL and we were in a race. Man against woman, bike against plane. An epic battle that would last at least until the end of the runway. Next week, I get up close and personal with Sarima Ibrahim, learn how to make Tay Tarek, and get on the bikes with the Red Warrior Motorcycle Stunt Team.